So a few years ago, I made a video breaking down exactly how I was making over $3,500 a week using only free traffic. Today, I thought I'd make an updated video breaking down how I'm currently making over 20K a week on my Shopify dropshipping stores, still only using free traffic. The difference is before I was only using Instagram. Today, I'll be covering Instagram, TikTok, AI, email marketing, and more. My name's Alex, if you're new, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more valuable content just like this. And when you're ready, let's get right into the video. All right, we're about to be covering every traffic source you can think of that can generate sales on your Shopify dropshipping store. We'll be starting with TikTok, Instagram, We'll be going all the way down to SEO, AI, blogging, YouTube, Pinterest, literally every free traffic source you can think of that will generate sales for you. If you guys want me to go through and break down each one individually, showing you guys some examples, some of my own content, some case studies, some real results, literally everything to do with each one of these sources of free traffic, go ahead and leave a like on this video and if it hits say 100 likes, I'll make a part two, three, four, five, however many I have to, breaking down each one of these traffic sources individually, showing you guys some strategies, some methods you can use, and just some tips you can start implementing right away. But if you guys are new to dropshipping, just go ahead and read that slide that I threw up behind me. If not, no worries, we're gonna be moving on in just a second, talking about your TikTok traffic sources. But I just wanted to say we're going to be covering the basics, some advanced strategies we'll touch on slightly. But if you guys want me to go in full detail, go ahead and drop a like on this video. All right, you guys already know how important TikTok is for your business in 2023. If not, that's exactly what we're talking about right here, leveraging TikTok for free traffic. You guys wanna create engaging content that resonates with your audience. You guys wanna make sure you understand your niche that you're in, everything to do with it, your overall demographics for the customers that you're selling to, so that you guys can create engaging content that appeals to them. You guys wanna use, or you guys wanna use trending hashtags that are related to your products as well as your niche. You guys wanna incorporate them into your videos. You wanna make sure you're being creative and humorous in all of your videos. Well, not all of them, you guys wanna be creative in all of your videos. You can add humor to a lot of them to add to that virality factor. But overall, what you wanna do with your end goal is just make your brand stand out from all the other brands on TikTok. You guys are competing with countless other brands for the same exact attention. Make sure you guys pay close attention to detail and create content that truly stands out. You guys wanna grow your following and drive traffic to your store. Some ways of growing your following are collaborating with other creators, using influencers, creating challenges within your niche, you guys wanna ensure that the content remains relevant to your products, engage and repurpose your content from your followers to boost their loyalty to your brand. Examples of successful TikTok campaigns and their impact on sales. I'm sure many of you guys have seen the Emote Royal Contest that went viral globally and boosted Fortnite's revenue. All it does was it simply asked viewers and Fortnite fans to make up their own Fortnite dances that would actually be featured in the game later on. It was genius, it worked out well for them, and it was a great challenge that you guys can replicate on your own. Now what exactly goes into a viral TikTok for your brand? It's not just throwing some things up and hoping for the best, but you guys can actually make sure almost every video you create goes viral. I have an entire video breaking down the exact process of creating TikTok content. I'll leave that link down below for you, but let's just touch on some of the most important points right now. Creating a viral TikTok can be a game changer from your brand, but it takes more than just posting a video like I already said. To create a viral TikTok, you need to grab the viewer's attention with a hook, keep them engaged with interesting content, and a clear call to action. Some popular hook types include scroll stopping videos, controversy, and an interesting caption or intro. With these core elements in mind, your brand can create TikToks that stand out and go viral almost instantly. All right, moving over to Instagram. It was already an important traffic source when I made this video a few years ago, and it's only gotten more powerful. You guys wanna optimize your Instagram profile for your dropshipping business. It should, pre it should present a consistent and professional look, highlight your product offering, promotions, differentiators, along with your website URL and your bio in a call to action, getting people to click on it. You guys wanna use engaging visuals and compelling captions. The visual aspect is critical on Instagram, obviously. You guys wanna make use of relevant hashtags, high quality attractive photos, and informative and engaging captions to draw your audience's attention. Everything that we're about to be talking about is all about attention. You guys wanna grab your audience's attention and keep it, keep them on those platforms and they will reward you. You guys wanna utilize Instagram's features to promote your products and drive traffic. 
Obviously, you got your Instagram stories, your IGTV, and Reels are crucial when it comes to promoting products and driving traffic. Showcase your products, diverse attributes, use influencers to increase your reach, and highlight customer reviews and feedback that you receive. All right, now we're talking about my personal favorite traffic source, and that's email marketing. So let's talk about how you guys can set up effective email marketing campaigns for your own brand. Email campaigns can help you build a good relationship with your customers, and nurturing your email list yields effective results such as increased sales and helps you build brand loyalty. I don't know if you guys know this, I share this stat quite a lot with my subscribers, you might have heard this before, but email marketing actually yields you the highest ROI or return on investment of any traffic source out there. I think it's on average for every $1 you spend on email marketing, you can expect to receive, I think, between $36 and $40 back in return, and that's going up every single year based on the industry data. You guys wanna build an email list and foster customer relationships. You guys wanna collect emails on your website, offering upfront value such as discounts or memberships or free guides, whatever it is to encourage signups on your website. Ensure that you have permission before adding someone to your email list. Obviously that goes without saying. A lot of people just buy lists from spammy websites or throw something together, email people and get their URL or their IP address blacklisted and they can never send effective email marketing campaigns again. You guys just wanna avoid that entirely. Build out a list that you own, email them, don't spam them, send them effective marketing campaigns. I have a ton of videos about that on this channel. You guys wanna regularly send newsletters, promotions, personalized recommendations to your subscribers to foster an overall connection with them. You guys wanna create compelling email campaigns to promote all of your products from time to time. You guys wanna be very strategic with them, plan them out ahead, get everything scheduled. I would say, you know, you can go through on Saturday or Sunday during the weekend or whatever, whenever you guys have free time, plan out all of your email promotions, write all of your content, get everything scheduled. You guys are good to go for that entire week without having the overall headache of cramming everything together last minute or you guys can outsource that entirely and have someone else create all of your email promotions for you. But these are topics for another day. You guys wanna ensure that your email campaigns maintain a consistent voice with your brand's message. Your email should be informative, engaging, and visually appealing. You guys wanna use email automation for your welcome emails, your discount offers, your card abandonment, and all of the effective strategies that we talk about on this channel. All right, now let's talk about automated email sequences and personalized recommendations. Automation helps you guys save time and maintain consistency in your email communication. Personalization, such as addressing the recipients by their name and recommending products they've shown interest in, creates a superior customer experience, therefore boosting your engagement and sales as a result. All right, now let's talk about using AI to write all of your content and your blog posts, therefore generating more free sales from the power of AI. We'll start off by talking about the role of AI in your content marketing. Using AI generated content enables you to create customized content that targets your audience, boosts your engagement, and overall drives free traffic to your web store. You guys can leverage AI tools for blog and content writing, such as ChatGPT from OpenAI. You guys can use AI tools to get ideas for content, research keywords, and even create a structure and produce a first draft. However, supplement with personalization and edits to make it more tailored to your customers because obviously you guys know everything that comes out of ChatGPT needs to be proofread and edited and added to. It's not going to be your final draft. If you use ChatGPT for all of your final drafts, then you guys are going to fail at some point because you can't rely on it entirely. It's good for structuring. It's good for adding ideas and content and helping you think of things you wouldn't have before but overall, there is no better copywriter than you. So let's talk about number three, optimizing content for search engines and generating targeted traffic. By optimizing your website content for search engines or SEO, you boost its visibility and ensure that appears higher in search engine results. Ensure that your content is user-friendly, informative, and relevant to your overall audience. You guys need to study and know your audience demographics. It's good to install tools like Google Analytics to your Shopify store so that you guys can get a good overall understanding of all of that. So since we briefly touched on SEO or search engine optimization, let's talk about it as a free traffic strategy for your Shopify dropshipping store. So obviously you guys wanna use tools like keyword planners or even AI tools like ChatGPT to do all of the research and writing for you. It can go through and generate your 
keywords, your product descriptions, and your meta tags that you're gonna be using in all the fields on your Shopify store to help you rank higher on search engines like Google or Bing so that you guys can get organic traffic whenever customers are searching for the products that you're selling. You guys wanna go through and do all the research beforehand to find the top keywords in your brand to figure out what they're actually searching for on Google so that you guys can get your results way higher up there, beat your competition, and make sure you're the first website that they click on when they're looking for your products. So some of the best advice I have for you besides using keyword planners and AI to do all of your research and drafting is to use backlinks in all of your website. You guys wanna link the back pages of your website to one another so that Google recognizes that. You guys wanna add valuable content regularly. You guys wanna utilize social media and offer your customers great experiences on every platform that you're on. All these steps help search engines notice your website and boost your traffic organically. Now, I just wanna briefly mention three additional traffic sources that you guys can start using today to generate more sales. Obviously, we have YouTube. You guys can publish product demos, tutorials, and other product-related content to increase your reach and drive sales. I used to say before that this depended on your product or your niche, but really it doesn't matter anymore. There's some form of content that you guys can create in your niche or for your overall product that you guys can post on YouTube. You guys can create the longer form videos like unboxings, tutorials, facts about your product, the product in use, reviews, stuff like that. Or you guys can create the shorter form content like YouTube Shorts where you're creating TikTok style videos. Moving on, we also have Pinterest where you guys can create visually appealing pins and boards that resonate with your audience to drive traffic to your website that way. And we also, similar to Pinterest, we have Reddit where you guys can join relevant subreddit groups and become an active contributor, recommending your products or services as and when appropriate in all of these different forums. So when you guys are generating free traffic on your Shopify store and hoping to convert that into sales, there's some metrics and analytics that you guys wanna pay close attention to, just like when you're running paid ads and looking at those campaigns. So the importance of tracking and analyzing your data, this should go without saying, but metrics and analytics allow you to identify which marketing channels work best, optimize your website, and improve the customer experience as well as your sales and conversion rate. There are key performance metrics that you guys wanna monitor, such as your conversion rates, your click-through rates, your bounce rates, your traffic sources, your customer lifetime value, and all the relevant metrics that are just like those. The tools and resources that you guys wanna focus on are Google Analytics, Shopify has a ton of analytic resources and reports on there, A-B testing tools, and other resources that can provide you with data and demographics on your customers. You guys now know how to take advantage of every free traffic source I use on my own dropshipping stores. Leave a like on this video if you want me to go through and break down each one individually, showing you some content examples, case studies, some of my own results, some of my own content, all of that good stuff. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content just like this. And remember to check out all of the linked resources I have for you down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.